Hi, good evening, folks. Welcome back to Concept. Welcome back to yet another webinar. So, in this particular, uh, you know, webinar, we are going to discuss about how we can be prepared for the Bank Nifty's weekly expiry, or I would say the monthly expiry, which is tomorrow. So, we will try to go ahead and analyze all the data points needed to, you know, anticipate the Bank Nifty's expiry much more better. And at the end, as we learn to predict uh, the Bank Nifty's week, uh, monthly expiry. We will try to go ahead and you know participate in a contest with our prediction level, which we are look, going to analyze, looking at some data points out there in our application. So, so to start off with, let's try to first you know create a dashboard of what what all tools we are going to need. So I'll go to dashboard so that we can access all of the tools on the same screen and we can have a quick look on the Bank Nifty's front. So I will go on dashboard functionality in Concept, and uh, I will create a uh, select a dashboard which has and facility to add up to five to six tools. So I'll go on uh, the first panel. I want to have a quick look on index contributors to know, you know, what is moving the banking index. Then I also want to have a quick look on, you know, how the historical built ups have been made in Bank Nifty Front, and I also want to have a quick look on the op open interest data. I want to identify the range of bank nifty after having an bias on the index so i will also have a look on the open interest part for that matter so let's see to find out open interest here it is okay and then i also want to have a look on you know the option gain tool which is one of the most important tools when we want to go ahead and anticipate the expiries much more better so we will use the tool of option gain to along with it so let me find out option gain. So there are multiple tools which can be plotted. Okay. So this is my dashboard, which I have created. Okay. I can rename my dashboard. Let's say I want to rename this dashboard as expiry. Okay. So expiry dashboard so that everything comes under one screen and we can go ahead and analyze the data very, very easily under a particular screen itself. Okay. So now to start off with, as I created my dashboard, let's quickly start this analysis by analyzing where Bank Nifty is trading right now. So Bank Nifty is trading at 34,920 and in terms of points, Bank Nifty has dropped 300 points today and in terms of percentage, the drop was, you know, as significant as 0.85% uh, percentage. Today we saw a good, you know, uh, move in Indescent Bank from the opening hour itself. So Indescent Bank is the top contributor followed by AU Bank, Federal Bank, uh, and what is dragging the banking index down? It's all about SBI, HDFC Bank, and Kotak Bank, which is dragging the banking index down. Now, talking about the historical data, Bank Nifty has been in a you know short cycle for a very longer duration of time. Recently, it has witnessed some of bit here and there a long built up, and today it again witnessed a short built up, again, you know, kind of hinting of an negative move itself but recently if we talk about bank nifty friend it is more of an oscillation instead of an trending market wherein if we see whatever the up moves happens they again take a dip on the next day whenever there is a dip happening there is a up move on the next day if we see from this day which is uh this particular day from 21st of december up till the current day which is again approximately over seven to eight trading sessions seven trading sessions Bank Nifty has not witnessed a short built up. Again, we need to check out this position. What was it and short covering or a long uh, short built up or a long unwinding, which actually led the dip. So we can do it post bow copy updation. Any which way is talking about Bank Nifty friend. If we talk about the recent moves data, the data does not speak a lot on the short side. Okay, neither it does speak on the long side. So it is kind of in a you know mixed cube which the Bank Nifty is in right now. Now talking about the open interest fund, so if we talk about a broader perspective, about a broader range on the Bank Nifty's market, so if we see that this strike price, which is 35,000 strike price, has a tussle going around, it has the highest quantum of put open interest and also significant quantum of call open interest. So ideally, we should expect that 35,000 should be a significant quantum of, you know, uh, a support which Bank Nifty has out here. So 35,000 becomes our highest put strike. So that is my important support. So Bank Nifty, you know, if it manages to sustain above this level, which is 35,000, we might, you know, expect at least a momentum 
on the positive side not a breakout kind of a thing but you know we can expect if bank nifty sustains above this level we might expect a some kind of a positive spike to happen at least in terms of intraday also we can observe the changes in open interest levels okay but in in this graph to explain you with this the green color bars are showing us call open interest red color bars are showing us the put open interest if bank nifty manages to sustain uh, about 35000 we might expect you know a short covering to happen on the call side where is the immediate hurdle for bank nifty so the immediate hurdle you know stands somewhere around the level of 35200 yeah but the major hurdle stands at 35500 So now talking about the broader range. So to give you all a broader range, so thirty-five thousand, although is an you know the strike price which has a highest put open interest, and thirty-five thousand five hundred is the strike price which has a call open interest. So this is the OI band. But if we narrow down the range further, Bank Nifty manages to sustain about thirty-five thousand five hundred, and if thirty-five thousand five hundred, thirty-five thousand call option witnesses and short covering, we see an hurdle. A, a small amount of hurdle at thirty five thousand two hundred. Okay, so we are expecting, you know, that the Bank Nifty manages to sustain above the level of thirty five thousand, as it has a significant quantum of put writings happening on that particular strike price, which the put writers will not leave that easily, at least in this expiry. Now moving forward with, you know, the option pain. Okay, max pain. What is the level where option buyers are witnessing? the maximum loss and option sellers are at a maximum profit so 35100 as of the current data points is the level where option you know sellers are going to make the most profit that this is the peak profit level if bank nifty manages to sustain around this level this is the level where they are going to make the maximum profits so on an expiry day gain level is something you which you should watch out for what is the gain level gain level is as simple as the max pain level but it also allows us to check the shifts happening in the gain level which we will try to observe in some time okay so this is the your key level of expiry which is 35100 okay like the whatever the max pain level is tomorrow is your key level of the expiry to happen number one number two is this level static figure is this going to be the same throughout the day tomorrow no this level might keep on shifting so most importantly don't forget to observe the shifts how the shifts are happening how the shifts are taking place here is a simple example bank nifty trading at what 34920 okay let's say bank nifty opens at 35000 tomorrow opens above 35000 tomorrow and then bank nifty goes up till let's say 35300 okay where is my max pain level 35100 let's say that the max pain level shifts in the upwards direction along with the direction it with in which the bank nifty has shifted indication of an positive move and upward shift in the writers band over there the writers have shifted their positions to an upper band number 1 number 2 is let's assume that you know bank nifty again goes up till 35300 but or 400 for that case but gain level does not shift at all is an indication that you know you should wait there might be a pullback which they are expecting that is the reason on an expiry day specifically they are not kind of adjusting their positions they are not shifting their positions from a particular level to a different particular level right so observe how the shifts are taking place again to repeat this is not a static level this is your key chances of you know Nif bank nifty or nifty to expire on an expiry day okay why option sellers are going to get most money at this level option sellers are assumed to have one you know well researched approach on the market because if anything goes wrong they might end up in a disaster so option sellers they are expecting an expiry to this level so that that is where there is a key chance of an expiry to happen which is 35100 now most of people out there in the markets they think that if bank nifty sustains above 35100 the call writers will start a panic and being an expiry day they will start to cover their positions vigorously but that is not the case assume that you sold a call option last thursday you have enjoyed a significant quantum of you know or significant amount of premium because the markets are sideways because the markets are oscillating correct which will lead your break even to shift a bit broader correct your break even which was at this level will get shifted broader because you know the markets have consolidated in such time 
as a call seller you will or a put seller you will keep on receiving the premium which will lead lead to shift in your break even you know so this eq level it tells me what is my level okay what is the level considering the premiums received by option sellers what is the call sellers or the put sellers break even it is showing us the sellers break even point considering the premiums received so at this point neither the call sellers are making money neither the put sellers are making money number 1 number 2 is let's say this level gets broken 35 150 okay and market sustain about that bank nifty sustains about that then what then as a call seller being an expiry day the best option left with me would be and cover my sold call because elsewhere i might end up in a disaster if i do go ahead and adjust my position and let's say if that position gets trapped i will need to keep on repeating the process and considering the expiry day i will not have a lot of time left along with me correct so you should watch out for bank nifty to sustain above this eq level which is 35153 wait for bank nifty to sustain above it for a significant amount of time let's say 15 20 minutes and then if we see that okay if there is a lot of short coverings taking place on the call side okay that is a good time to you know think about and break out trade in bank nifty on the positive side okay so eq level 35150 is the key level where the call and the put sellers are not making money so bank nifty until it surpasses this level wait before going long okay so now talking about as i said most important point is on an expiry date to observe the shifts so to observe the shift we can navigate to a particular tool from here just by clicking over here so i am in the gain tool now okay now let's say 35100 is the gain level right now max pain right now i want to observe today from 920 okay till the current time what the gain was okay so gain was 35100 there was no shift okay let's check out from 9 uh, 20 let's say till 12 pm what was the gain level okay the max pain level was there any shift okay so you see that from 9 am onwards today till 12 pm the gain level has shifted to a lower strike correct a lower level and 100 point drop in the gain level if you see from this time which is from uh, 919 from the day open till 1215 ke aas pass if you see what is the gain level the gain level is placed at 35200 okay 35200 so ideally till this time the participants were thinking that this would be my key expiry level okay number 1 now let's try to check what the participants how the gain level actually shifted let's say from 1230 onwards till the current time okay till let's say 350 okay or 1530 so that i can gauge the shift so this is how we will try to do it and accordingly we can anticipate the expiries much more better okay if you see a lower shift happening in the gain level indication of a bearishness on bank nifty now talking about eq level if we consider the eq level considering the premiums from this time to this time 35340 is the break even point of option sellers okay so talking about key expiry level so i if i go back again to the gain tool so let's say option gain So, if you talk about the, uh, you know, a key expiry level, it is placed at thirty five thousand one hundred, and option sellers break even is placed at thirty five thousand one fifty k as pass. Okay, so wait for Bank Nifty to sustain above this level prior going long in Bank Nifty, which is thirty five thousand one fifty. Wait for it to sustain above it for a decent amount of time. Okay, so now talking about, you know, as we have learned by, you know. going through i'll repeat the process and how we can go ahead and do it the number one thing is we can create a dashboard we can form an bias on the index looking at the index contributors we can check that you know the historically bank nifty has not witnessed a lot of short recently from 21st of december okay that does not give us a negative negative bias okay talking about oi data 35000 put acts like my significant support and 35500 call acts like my major resistance okay but you know if i see that bank nifty sustains above 35000 we might expect some quantum of short covering happening on the call side which might propel the up now talking about you know what is the key expiry level from a broader range coming to a very narrow range very tighter range which is 35100 so we might expect the expiry in the vicinity 
EQ level is something which you know option buyers can benefit on. That you know if EQ level gets broken and Bank Nifty sustains above it, that is you know an ideal time where you can capitalize on a breakout in Bank Nifty front. Okay. Now as we have learned, you know, so let's try to you know benefit out of it. Whatever we are learning, let's try to go ahead and earn out of it. So for that we can use this link which is quantsapcom slash bn. So it will be you know. The page will redirect us to Bank Nifty, Quantsap's Bank Nifty expiry contest. Okay, all we need to do is just predict an expiry, a probable expiry of Bank Nifty for tomorrow's expiry for monthly expiry. So if my prediction is plus or five, uh, plus five or minus points around the predicted level, I'll get six months of Quantsap's Pro subscription. If my prediction is Plus fifteen or minus fifteen points around. Uh, if you know the bank Nifty expires plus or minus fifty around the key expiry level, I'll get one month of Concepts Pro subscription and plus ten minus ten, I'll get I'll be rewarded by three months of Concepts Pro subscription. Okay, so now right now the bank Nifty is trading at thirty four thousand nine twenty. My key expiry level I am uh, you know predicting looking at the data point is let's say thirty five thousand. 170 okay or 160 okay around the eq level okay and all i need to do is just hit enter contest okay the tool will automatically create a tweet for us and we don't need to do anything around it just hit the tweet button and that's it i have participated in bank nifty's concepts bank nifty expiry contest which through which i can go ahead and earn concepts pro subscription up to 6 months so you know you all can try it out and you know this is how we can go ahead and you know tackle the expiries much more better gain is the tool which definitely should be used on an expiry day and never you know uh, directly jump on an level always try to follow and top down approach form and bias how look where the markets have opened check the historical data how the futures oi is looking like have a broader perspective then try to narrow down your approach gain level is something where you know the markets are expecting you know the participants are expecting the markets to expire in that vicinity apart from that i would say you can also let me know your you know key expiry levels out there in the chat box or in the comment section and apart from that i would say that was it from my particular side for this webinar in case of any doubts and queries you can all shoot us a mail at support@concept.com Thank you so much be ready for you know the monthly expiry ahead thank you